Hi, in this video we're going to explore Arch Linux BI3. It means that we have just i3 and some of the people were asking for for months hey Eric we would like to have just i3 we love i3 we're fans but we just want that nothing more so there's your time if this happens on VirtualBox a very very good tip control uh, sorry super x in this case log out again and ta -da! then he knows that I have 1920 on 1080 and I see oh yeah I see a beautiful wallpaper in the background we're almost on holiday no no first a few weeks of exams and heavy duty work but um, vacation is coming anyway this is i3 we have um, file manager open we have terminal open and we have no menu there is no menu here super shift d that's our menu that's the d menu that's what i always get to but there is also f12 and then you should press super f12 eric so let's do let's do let's do this and then screen key so you see what i press super f12 that's this and with ctrl alt r i decide just like that to change my look how about this and the top it says alt a to accept alt a accept super f12 and now i'm going to launch Vival. enter so things like that uh, work like that you can move things to another workspace if you say no this is a bit too awkward well, Super F already is a full screen, so we can move to that. Say I want to have a dark one. Let's show you my details, what I do all the time in Vivaldi. Quick, 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 quick setup. What are the settings of Eric in Vivaldi? So, appearance, open setup, pop-ups. Oh, the open settings, that one. When I do this, I do it again. This happens then. So it's in the tabs. What else do I do? Themes is dark. I like this better. This is for my website stuff. Control B is bold in WordPress. Search, forget about the other thing there. I'm not even gonna pronounce it. Delete it. Yes. Gone. Privacy. No passwords here because I have last pass and downloads. I want this, this one like this, and that one like that. Done. Everything's set. So that's Firefox for you. Uh, so Vivaldi for you. If you want to move this to somewhere else, you to press a combination of keys that you just now can read. And we're at and three. And if I go to four, then I can open here. I don't know, GIMP for instance. Uh, or Inkscape, this is Inkscape, then I can move to Super 5 and no, usually I put here Melt to compare stuff, but you can do, put everything wherever you want it, you know, it's 10 desktop, so I can go to 10 and normally I put here Super S, Ctrl Alt S is Spotify, but uh, if you don't install it, you won't get it. And there's also an update I see there, so PKS YUA. And let's see, the update here brings a lot of stuff. There have been a considerable amount of things, but but people say, oh, lots of updates, but look at the net upgrade size, guys. 2.67 megabyte. Pfft. That's nothing. Huh? But okay, there are updates, so update, and just switch to another window and check that out. So there you go, this is i3 and it has nothing but i3 if we log out i can prove that to you that there is nothing more than that so we'll have to do it with i3 that's the whole point so this is Arch linux b i3 if you say whoa i don't want to build it then don't forget we have also this website sourceforge the community editions let's uh, launch firefox this time so Arco Linux Community Editions 
and you get this link here files accept it files and here's i3 so if you want to check it out on virtualbox first here it is it's 2.1 gigabyte the ones at this point in time that are the biggest is gnome gnome is sorry plasma is the biggest 2.3 for gnome and plasma was 2.1 nine gigabytes and all the rest is two and maybe that's also an interesting thing that i say it somewhere in the videos the the reason that it's two gigabyte big is not because of the desktops unless your gnome unless your plasma you can compare now it's the same package as both but um, the desktops differ right gnome and cinnamon uh, Gnome and, and well all, all of these guys different desktops and the only different difference is that and that that's, uh, that's what uh, all, all the packages that are on Arco Linux that's what constitutes the megabytes get rid of LibreOffice get rid of, rid of GIMP Inkscape stuff you never touch hashtag them out it's simple it's explained on the website put a hashtag in front of it and that's it then you burn your ISO and it's your personal ISO. All right, done speeching. Cheers.